We are now on level 5 of Google's cross-site scripting aka XSS challenge. Level 5 is called Breaking Protocol. The mission description says, cross-site scripting isn't just about correctly escaping data. Sometimes attackers can do bad things even without injecting new elements into the DOM. So what this tells me is that we're probably not going to be injecting script tags in order to get script execution in this challenge. So the mission objective says inject a script to pop up an alert in the context of the application. Now the application inside of the frame says, welcome, today we're announcing the much anticipated Groovy Reader 2.0. There's a link, sign up for an exclusive beta. You'll see if we click next, we get redirected to a page, which will then redirect us back to the first page. So this isn't a very useful application, but we can gather some information from what we've already seen. First of all, there's an input box for an email, but the email didn't seem to be reflected on the next page, and it didn't ever seem to be presented again. However, this next link down here points to a page, and there's also a value called next, a query parameter in the URL with a value confirm. So if we inspect the next hyperlink, we can see that the href, the link, points to the relative URL confirm. So let's try to change that and see what happens to it. So here, if we inspect the link again, we'll see that the link becomes confirmed too. So what this confirms is that the next query param is actually populating this link's target value. And because it's populating this link's target value, it's very likely that the source for this DOM XSS is the next query param and the sync is this hyperlink down here. And so there's probably two ways that we could complete this challenge. Number one is we could create another website that contains an alert. We could redirect to that website. That website would have its DOM load. It would boot up an alert dialog which would probably pass the level for us. On the other hand, we can make use of something called a URI scheme. So web browsers support a wide number of URI schemes and these are just protocols for accessing data. You may be familiar with HTTPS, file colon slash slash, FTP colon slash slash. There's also a URI scheme that allows us to execute JavaScript in its own context on the fly. This is called the JavaScript pseudo scheme. Just by typing JavaScript colon, you can begin script execution in your browser. And what we're gonna do is see if we can actually redirect using this JavaScript pseudo scheme and pop up an alert using on the fly JavaScript script execution. So let's click next again. And you can see our alert fired correctly. We executed an alert and we're ready to advance to the next level.